Hi everyone, welcome back to the Ruby Lake History Channel. Tonight's video is going to be me round eating tips for the 2022 NRL season. Last week I got three out of four correct. Let me know in the comment section below how many you got right. This round eating has some very good matchups. We've got North Queensland against Kunule, and we've also got some uh, intriguing matchups such as Eastern Suburbs against St George and Parramatta against New Zealand. The first match to kick off round 18 starts on Friday night, not Thursday night, due to the state of origin. And this one is between North Queensland and Cunula Sutherland. This one's being played at the Queensland Country Bank Stadium. North Queensland in second, Cunula in fourth. Cunula have a, a good record recently against North Queensland. They've won their last seven encounters against the North Queensland club. The last time that North Queensland beat Cunulla was in round one of the 2018 season. They beat them 20 points to 14. Uh, Cunulla don't exactly fear going up to Townsville. They've won their last two encounters against North Queens up, up at the new ground. And also they had some success at the, the old Willow Spark Complex, a.k.a. 1300 Smile Stadium. However, for this match, I will go for North Queens and a win 1-12. I think that's it. They'll just be a little bit too good for Canula. However, I think it'll be a good match. The second game on the Friday is between Parramatta and New Zealand. This one's being played at the Western Sydney Stadium. Parramatta sat in sixth at the moment. New Zealand in 13th. Power have won their last three matches against New Zealand. The last time that New Zealand had a win against Parramatta was in round 11 of the 2018 season where they beat them 24 points to 14. And that's the game where I think Sean Johnson put through a grubber kick and it was like they were playing on the moon. The ball bounced really high over the Parramatta players and New Zealand scored the winning try. But uh, for this match, I will go for Parramatta to win 1-12. With not really that much confidence, they weren't exactly uh, very convincing against West Tigers, against... Um, them at Leichhardt Oval there. However, I will go for power to win 1-12. I think that they should beat New Zealand and I say should with quotation mark. The first match on Super Saturday is between Sydney Roosters and St George. This one's being played at Central Coast Stadium. Sydney Roosters in 10th at the moment and St George in 9th. Eastern Suburbs have a good record against St George in recent times. They won either of their last 10 encounters. However, St George did beat them earlier this year. Round 7 on Anzac D there. St George won 14 points to 12. This is a very tough game to call because uh, St George has sort of been up and down this year and same as the East as well. And it's been surprising because I thought East would be doing a lot better than what they are. Uh, however, I will go out on a limb and I will tip East again. I think that's a, this will be a really tight game. I don't think there'll be much in it, but I'll go for Sydney Roosters to beat St George 1-12 at Central Coast Stadium there on the Saturday evening. The second game on Super Saturday sees Manly Warringa up against Newcastle. This one's being played at Brookvale Oval. Manly sat in 8th at the moment, Newcastle sat in 12th. According to some people, this is a massive rivalry. Um, I didn't know that playing in one grand final 25 years ago was a massive rivalry, but anyway, uh, looking at the head-to-head -head between these two sides, uh, it's actually quite even, even though Newcastle haven't been the best side over the last 10 years or so. They have picked up a couple of wins against Manly, so it's, it's pretty much head-to-head -head when it comes to these two sides playing against each other. I think for this match, though, I will pick the home side, I will pick Manly, uh, they've been pretty good at home this year and it, I mean it has the name Fortress Brookfield as it did back in the old days. I think Manly will win 1-12 on uh, the Saturday, Saturday there. I think Newcastle will give them a game but I think Manly will win the match in the end. And the third match on Super Saturday is between the Gold Coast and Brisbane. This one's being played at Seymour Super Stadium and it sees Gold Coast in 15th against Brisbane in 5th. According to some people, this is little brother against big brother. And let me just say that the Gold Coast will always be the little brother when these two sides play. Not unless they win six premierships in 18 years, but I don't see that happening. Anyway, the head-to-head -head between these two sides, believe it or not, is quite even. Uh, the Gold Coast have picked up a few wins against Brisbane. And uh, Brisbane's 
put some scores on the goal course in the past, but head to head's quite even. Uh, for this match, I will go for Brisbane to win. I think uh, this will be a high scoring match, but Brisbane have shown that they can score a lot of points, and in a lot of their games, they're scoring between 20 to well, at least 20 points in a match. So I'll, I just think Brisbane will be too strong for the goal course, so I'll go for Brisbane to win. The first of the three matches on the Sunday sees West Tigers up against Penrith. This one's being played in neutral territory at the Western Sydney Stadium in Parramatta. It sees West Tigers dead last, oh dear, against Penrith coming first at the moment, runaway league leaders. Penrith have won either of their last 10 encounters against West Tigers, and in one of the only matches that West Tigers have beaten Penrith in recent times, it were when Penrith had about nine players out due to the state of origin. So I, I, I can't really count that as a win, to be fair. Like. But going into this game, uh, I really only see it going one way unless there's some kind of a miracle or there's someone watching over the West Tigers because I think Penrith will win 13 plus. I think they'll win quite comfortably. Even if some players are missing due to origin, they might get injured. I just see uh, Penrith winning 13 plus against the West Tigers there at Parramatta. The second game on the Sunday sees Melbourne up against Canberra. This one's being played at Amy Park in Melbourne. It sees Melbourne in third against Canberra in 11th. Melbourne have won seven of the last 10 encounters against Canberra. However, Canberra's been a little bit of a bogey side against Melbourne in recent times. There, there were a stretch of games where Canberra actually beat them three times in a row. Uh, Melbourne have lost two matches in a row. The last time that they uh, lost three matches in a row or more was between round 14 to round 18 of the 2015 season. And before that, uh, in round between round 16 to round 21 of the 2012 season, they lost five matches in a row, but then they went on to win the Premiership that year. Canberra's last win against Melbourne come in round three of the 2020 season where they beat them 22 points to six down there at Amy Park. For this match, I am going to go for Melbourne to win between one to 12 points. Surely they cannot lose three matches in a row. This year, Melbourne have been a bit different. Um, they've been conceding quite a few points in some of the matches, which is something I'm not really used to seeing, but... I think that they, in front of a home crowd down there in Melbourne, I think they'll turn it around. So I'll go for Melbourne to win 1 12 there on the Sunday against Cambry. And the final game to close out round 18 is between Canterbury Bankstown and South Sydney. This one's being played at Stadium Australia. Canterbury sat in 14th at the moment, South sat in 7th. South have won either of the last 10 encounters against Canterbury. They certainly have had the wood over them in recent times. I think one of the only matches Canterbury won was the match that actually saved them from getting the wooden spoon in 2020. They beat South City towards the end of the year and they avoided the wooden spoon by far and against. For this match, uh, I think Canterbury will come out and give South Sydney a game. I think that they might even lead at one stage, but I think overall... I th after what I've seen the last two weeks from South Sydney, especially with Latrell Mitchell coming back, the attack from South Sydney has been quite good. So I'll go for South Sydney to win uh, 1-12 on the Sunday there against Canary Bankstown at Stadium Australia. So that concludes my tipping video for round 18 of the 2022 NRL season. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts about the games this weekend. If you haven't already done so, go and check out my channel. I was at Magic Weekend the other day, St. James' Park in Newcastle. I did a vlog for that. So if you haven't already checked it out, go ahead and watch it. I've got a few more videos coming up on the channel. But once again, thanks for tuning in the video. And I'll catch us all later in the next one. Alright, tie bye for now.